Representative Paul Brown uh, is running for the Senate seat in Georgia. He's absolutely convinced that uh, no one else in the world is as conservative as him, and that's why he deserves a seat. He's trying to uh, explain it here. Uh, boy, does he do a piss poor job of it. Here, watch. Candidates in this race can be categorized in three groups. There's the first that claim to be conservative, but they have absolutely no record to back that up. There's a second group that claim to be conservative, but their record does not back up a constant and a continual position of being conservative. And in one can stands alone, and that's me. Oh, okay, wait, let me get those three groups right again. Okay, they're the guys who are not conservative enough, and then they're the guys who are consistently not conservative enough. I'm not convinced those are two separate categories. And then the third category consists of only Paul Brown. Okay, well, then it's clear I guess I gotta vote for Paul Brown if I'm a real conservative in Georgia. Okay, but that's not where he said the re truly ridiculous things. He then went on to say this. There are four questions I asked about all legislation. All four have to be yes for you to vote yes. The first, is it constitutional according to the original intent? The second, does it fit the GDF Christian biblical principles our nation was founded by? Three, do we need it? Four, can we afford it? If all four yes, I vote yes, otherwise I vote no, and I'll pledge to you I'll do that as your U.S. Senator. So wait, did you catch that second re requirement there? He said, the second, does it fit the Judeo-Christian biblical principles our country was founded upon? So he will not vote yes on any law unless he considers it biblical enough. We shall hold no religious test for office. <laughs> you shall have the free exercise of a religion, but we shall not establish a state religion. Nah, no, nah, yeah, I don't really care. You know, what's in the U.S. Constitution? Who gives a damn? No, 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 uh, it has to meet my biblical test, otherwise I vote no. And by the way, like when Syracuse's women's lacrosse team wins the championship, I don't, is that biblical? <laughs> can you vote yes on that when you establish a post office? Is that biblical? Do, can you vote yes on that? Okay, we have these guys, he's a sitting U.S. Congressman, he's running for Senate, but he's already in office, sitting there looking at the laws, as if he works in a theocracy like in Iran or Saudi Arabia. These are our American Taliban. And they're sitting there going, no, well, no, wait, is a Judea Christian enough? Okay, who gives a damn what the law should be by logic, by reason, by what my uh, constituents want? No, 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 it's, it has to pass my biblical standards. Paul Brown, we do not live in a theocracy, and you can take your uh, absolute uh, religious nonsense and go to Saudi Arabia with it. They'll love it over there.